Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This video, uh, it's going to be pretty random in this aspect. The fact that my channel is, you know, mainly about sirens, fans, and whatnot. But I thought this was a, a video to that I thought would be pretty cool video to make about. Um, as you can see, it's a blender, but it's from a pretty well-known camera company, Panasonic. And I f was going out thrifting uh, earlier today and I saw this on the shelf and I was like, ooh, that's pretty cool that it's from a camera company. So I decided to get it and, you know, I wanna make a video on it. So if there's any blender enthusiasts that watch my videos, then this video is probably for you. Um, I got this for, I think it was $8. I removed the tag that was on this side and uh, washed it off to make it look more normal to the real um, normal. So the thing's in pretty good shape as is. It's got some, you know, some dust on it and stuff, but you know, it's in good shape for probably being used for the time. Um, it's in very good shape, like I just said. The chrome, and, uh, everything's nice and clean. The um, the glass cup here and whatnot is well, looks fresh too. No chips or cracks in there as far as I've seen, and the the cap for it or the top of it's fine except this thing be having a little crack in it but it's not a crack that actually like, goes through it's more so just a small you know surface crack but aside from that it's in good shape as is <clears throat> but um yeah that's the uh that's really just the, oh, oops, the thing fell off that's really all about the um blender and stuff right now this is the um, base where the, the cup goes. Uh, yeah, that's about that. It spins and it works. I'll test it in a second. And I found this pretty cool that it has six different speed modes. It has pure, I think that's how you pronounce it. Pure, I'm not sure. Whip, crumb, grate, chop, and liquefy. It has solid state control. And you have a extremely old Panasonic logo right there. It's a very old Panasonic logo. And then, of course, you got your normal text right there. Um, it also does have some branding and text on the bottom here. Right here, there's your same logo, a UL logo. Panasonic Blender, model number MX280, number. Can't really read that, but I think it says 86699. 120 volts AC only, 60 cycles, 750 watts. Um, I do not know how to pronounce that word. Electric, um, made in Japan, 20Y. I'm not sure what that means, but the, these are the vents on the bottom. This is, I think, part of the shaft right there. Um, that's the vents so the air from the motor can come out because I. This probably uses a universal motor, it's my guess, probably does. I'm not taking this apart yet, and I don't think I will, because I want to keep this thing in fresh condition. Probably gonna end up preserving it, actually, because, you know. I did my research, I'm pretty sure this is a 70s blender, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. But, um, you can also tell it's old, because it has one of these type of um, plugs on it. The very, very small two-prong, doesn't even have the three-prong, just two-prong that's one of the smallest plugs that I've seen on on an appliance, especially a appliance like this. But you know, everything about this thing it works fine. You know, pretty much a factory fresh, almost factory fresh, factory fresh blender. Um, it's also before they implemented the safety lock system for the cup. So that's how you know it's I know it's old. But aside from all that, that's really the the main coarse parts of the blender. Um, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna, t like, turn into a blender freak and I'm get a whole bunch of old blenders. This is just one that I thought looked cool, and I'm just gonna keep it as, like, a, a display piece. But I will, I'm not really gonna use it, because if we have other blenders for the, you know, purpose, but that's yeah, just the, um, a blender that I found, a blender that I found at the thrift shop, and I thought it pretty cool to have, so 
Let's actually give it a quick test here on all six modes. So you guys can get an idea on what it sounds like running. So we'll start on speed, this first speed and then move up all the way to the sixth. So just hear what it sounds like. Here's the first speed. And yeah, there's either your um, blender. It runs fairly nice. Just get a quick little shot of this right here. So yeah, that's your uh, 70s Panasonic blender. I thought it, like I said earlier, I thought it'd be pretty cool to have because, you know, it's made by what's now known as a camera company, but I've even, I, I've known this for a while, but most companies, say camera companies, made appliances like this back in the day, and some still do. But, um, yeah, there's your Panasonic blender from the 70s, as far as I think. There's, yeah, there's your blender. But, yeah, that's, that's that. Like I said, um... And we'll be keeping this as like a display piece. I will be preserving this and keeping it as is. Um, everything does work on it and everything. Everything comes off. Get this on. There we go. Yeah, everything's pretty much factory fresh with this. Works fine. Haven't used it for any actual purpose yet. And I don't, like I said, I don't think I will. I keep this thing in, in condition it is. I mean, even then, it being at a thrift shop and probably being used, it runs beautifully. Um, and I won't be taking it apart, like I said. But yeah, here's your labeling on the cup all the way down. And then your, your blades in there. And yeah, that's really everything about the Panasonic Blender. So yeah, that's basically it for this overview and test video of the uh, Blender. So yeah. Peace out.